G'day guys, Nate from Fabulous. Today we're going to give you a rundown on our Prado kit, point out some of the key features of the kit rather than doing a full length install video. So one thing we've found is that the factory Toyota guard clips are near on impossible to remove. So with our kit, it comes supplied with a full brand new set. Just use a pair of side cutters, wedge it up underneath it and cut them out. So now we're gonna move on to pulling the air box out. Once you get the lid off, you'll find that there are two bolts on the inside of the air box that actually hold it down. And then one at the back. Put that aside. So now that you've got the air box out, you know what time it is. Now we're gonna move on to showing you how to mark out the template. So each of our templates comes with a front and a back reference point where you mark two X's on the guard to make sure that it lines up perfectly. So with the Prados, when you mark out the last of the four measurements, it is very important that you put your tape at the point of the guard rather than at the flat of the guard like some of our other cars. So with the point, pull down your back measurement and you'll be in the right spot. The other thing that we find super helpful when you're installing your own snorkel is to use some small magnets just to hold the template on the guard. That way you're not trying to hold it and mark around at the same time, the magnets do the job for you. So line the front point up, line your back point up, Double check it all looks good, and then you're right to mark around it. So another thing that you'll find in your instructions is a bottom of bracket measurement. So to get that measurement, push the tongue of the tape against the back rear point of the guard and just measure up the pillar. This will help you to position the snorkel in the exact right spot. So now we're going to cut the hole in the guard. Because we use the air hacksaw, we put a small hole on the inside of the template first, just so that way we can put the saw in and get cutting. So now that you've got your hole cut, before you apply the pinch weld, we use a spira band, you can also use a file. Just clean the edge of the hole up and get rid of all the burrs. Now that you've cut and deburred your hole, it's time to put the pinch weld on so that way we can test fit the snorkel. Now, you'll notice that we use a really small pinch weld. Uh, this is to give you the best possible finish. We find that the bigger pinch weld that some people use uh, makes the snorkel sit off the car further. Uh, it just looks big and ugly, so we use a nice and small one. Nice tight tolerances around the snorkel. So now that we've pinch welded the guard, we're gonna test fit the snorkel so that we can mark out the holes for the pillar. Spray a bit of lube on the bottom of it, just so that way it goes into the pinch weld nice and easy and use your bottom of bracket measurement that you put on the car before to get your positioning correct. So once you've wiggled it into position, checked your bottom of bracket measurement is correct, you'll see that the snorkel sits perfectly in the cutout. Um, you can go ahead, mark the pillar, drill it, nut insert it, paint the guard.
So to make sure our kit seals as good as it possibly can, we remove this snout off the airbox and file down some small tabs, allowing the silicon to seal tightly on the factory airbox itself. So now that you've filed the tabs off, you can see that when you apply the silicon joiners, there's absolutely no chance of it being able to suck water in past any high spots, making sure that way the snorkel kit that we supply you is a fully sealed system all the way down to the airbox. So with this being a pre-facelift Prado, we have to do something a little bit different with the silicon joiners as compared to the later model ones. So you'll see that there is a small joiner section here. This section will poke through the inner guard and that way you'll put the silicon joiner on the outside as normal. Now even though there is a joiner in it, you don't have to ever worry about it leaking because we use Worth worm drive hose clamps instead of the traditional hose clamps. These things, once they're tight, they'll never come loose, they'll never rattle off, and you don't have to worry about stripping them because the worm drive in them is so much stronger than a traditional hose clamp. So you may see other kits using this size pinch weld as compared to the size we use. Now the reason for using big pinch weld is to fill a big gap. However, because our kits come with years of research, development and experience, our templates are spot on so that way we can get away with using the smallest pinch weld possible and you can be sure that there will be no gaps between your snorkel and the pinch weld itself. And as you can see now that we've applied this pinch weld to the car, it looks shit. So we're going to go ahead, pull this off, put ours on. It's much smaller, it's much neater, it gives it a much more factory look. And again, the reason why we can get away with using smaller pinch weld is because all of our templates and all of our instructions are spot on. So that way you don't need to run big pinch weld to fill the gaps in experience. So another key feature to this kit is the fully welded on integrated bracket that's one piece part of the snorkel. There are other kits that have a two piece bracket which bolts to the snorkel and uses tech screws into the pillar. We've seen over time that the tech screws can come loose. And let's be real, imagine your snorkel falling off while you're on an inland track at Fraser with your missus and kids in the car. So now that you've put the snorkel in the guard, the bracket's done up, the airbox is in, pretty much the last thing left to do is just put on a couple more hose clamps underneath, refit the inner guard using the brand new clips that we've supplied you, clean everything down and you'll be good to go. So that's been a brief rundown of our Prado kit. If you've liked it and you're interested in watching any of our other kits in more detail, just head over to our channel and we've got a full rundown on instructions, R&D and all of the development that goes into our kids.